The sunset is beautiful. Man, I wish my lady was here with me. Oh, man. Good up Wonderful. Bird? It sure is. And that ought to be enough to get something going. The map said it was about a mile hike from my car to my site. Yeah, I really need to invest in some ultralight equipment. <laughs> All right, so about ready to get to my campsite. It's been a long walk. Look at this view. Just look at that view walking up. Big old pine trees. Open water. Yeah, this is a nice little spot. Nice breeze coming off the lake. We'll see if I'll uh, be able to get a line out though. Seeing some white caps out there. But uh, first things first, gotta set up camp, sit down, relax, drink some water, have a little bit of a headache, take some uh, aspirin or whatever I have with me, and uh, just enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. This is excellent out here. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna get dinner ready here. I'm gonna basically make a uh, kind of like a Boy Scout meal. Some potatoes, onion, some tomatoes, some rosemary, chicken breast, and a good amount of butter. Wrap it in foil and just let it slow cook over the fire. So I picked this up, a uh, vintage Japanese blade Japanese made uh, knife set the company's Kershaw but the blades are made in Japan so it's from I want to say the 1970s by Kai Kai is the company made in Japan I don't know if you can probably can't read that I don't know if you can read the probably not because my camera sucks but uh, what it has is 
you flip this up, it's got a little cool little uh, notch here. You got your blades in here. Got like a serrated blade for cutting bread or whatever. Standard small one. Um, I would imagine this is probably more of like a boning knife or a fillet knife, but um, I'm going to use that for cutting up my vegetables and probably my chicken. But it's a cool little, got it off of eBay. I bid on it for a while. It's, uh, I believe, 1970s, 1980s, something like that. So but you slit, put the blade right over that and close that. Oh, there you go. Nice wooden wooden handle. So yeah, there we go. So first, I'm going to get this, get an onion cut up here. Rosemary. Dump these here like that. <clears throat> nice dose of salt and pepper. start there. I don't think I need this thing. Sunset is beautiful. Man, I wish my lady was here with me. She would love this. She would absolutely love this. here. Oh yeah. Lots of butter. Get chicken off of there. Oh this chicken is nice and juicy. Keep some of that crispy skin in there. Chicken in the pot. Let's 
stir this all up. <clears throat> Campfire chicken stew, I guess is what we can call this. Potatoes, onions, tomatoes, rosemary, chicken. Oh, yeah. Mm. All right, <clears throat> I'm digging in. Smell the rosemary. You know what I forgot to put in there, though? Garlic. Chicken bone. Oh my god. It's so good. It's delicious. Oh, here. Turn this off. Is that better? I'm not sure what you would call this. Except freaking delicious. So yeah, it's been a long day. <clears throat> long hike game. A lot of work. <clears throat> I switched sites. Walked into one of them and realized I had no lakefront. So, I had to walk another quarter mile or something to this site. And uh, just all the gathering wood and, I don't know, I'm, I'm tired. So it's probably going to be a pretty early one tonight. After I eat this, I think I'll be, I think I'll be pretty, uh, Full and ready to just lay down. Start with a fresh morning tomorrow. See what the day brings. This is a beautiful place, though. finish eating this, tidy things up, and uh, hit the hay for the night. Call it an early one. I don't know what time it is. 8 o'clock maybe? Yeah, it's about 8 o'clock, so I should be in bed by like 9. Get a good night's sleep. It's going to get a little chilly tonight. I should be good. Alright, I'm done babbling. I'll see you guys later. All right, guys. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. It's going to get a little chilly tonight, so I'm all bundled up. Got a few layers on. My nice heavy wool blanket here. And uh, I'm super tired. So I just wanted to say good night. Thanks for sticking around if you have. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Got a big day tomorrow. Hopefully lots of fishing, lots of cooking, lots of hiking, all kinds of good stuff. Enjoying the, the outdoors. So, good night.
can smell that pine tar burning. Ooh. So I'm just doing a couple eggs over easy. Got some uh, bacon that's par cooked, almost there, so I couldn't refrigerate anything. Just some eggs and bacon. Warm the bacon up a little bit. Here's breakfast. Did I overcook them? Oh, of course I did. Ah, that's a bummer. That's a real bummer. Shit. Ah, well. Eggs over hard then. Still food. Oh yeah. It's better than getting smoke in my face. The wind is just constantly coming from the lake, which is expected, so I need something over here to sit. So this should do the trick. Hopefully I'm not too close to the fire, but I can always move it. Anyway, quick and easy way to make a chair. So, I forgot I had this in my uh, little fire starting kit, so I'm going to start the fire tonight with some magnesium shavings. I'm 
gonna make steak and risotto tonight. I'm gonna make a tomato risotto and a ribeye steak with a brandy butter sauce. Brandy butter sauce, you heard it. Set these aside. Use up the last of this rosemary. You notice I'm using a lot of the same ingredients I used last night, but that's because that's what I brought and got to use them before I leave. Tomorrow's, tomorrow morning I pack up and go. We're going to use this rosemary in with the uh, brandy and butter sauce. The onions and rosemary will go with it too. A little bit of butter in here to get the risotto started. <clears throat> we'll also infuse a little brandy into this too. Normally you use white wine, but we don't have any white wine. waiting for this fire to burn up and get some good coals. I'm just going to sit here and drink a little brandy and be sad to leave this place. It's just beautiful out here. I was a little disappointed that I wasn't able to go fishing. But I think I mentioned yesterday the water has like a brown color to it. I don't know it's what it is. And uh, there's blue-green algae in it, which have toxins in it. So I couldn't drink the water. Didn't feel comfortable boiling the water. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. It's still beautiful. But uh, yeah, I'm going to finish this off with a nice steak dinner. Like I said, some... Uh, tomato risotto and a nice fat ribeye steak with a brandy butter sauce and I am starving I haven't eaten anything since breakfast so this is going to be well deserved had to hunt around quite a bit for firewood today I'm amazed that there isn't there really isn't anything but uh, oak and it's really tough to split it's really heavy it burns nice but I'm exhausted I'm hungry and I'm kind of sad that I'm leaving tomorrow. Cheers. If you made it this far into the video, obviously you're interested enough. So if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification button. Like it. And share it if there's anyone you think would enjoy what I'm doing out here. I sure enjoy it. Which is why I do it. I don't do it for subs. I don't do it for anything else. I'm a long ways away from being monetized or any of that stuff. I don't do this YouTube thing because I want to do anything other than show people that you can have fun out in the woods and have more than just hot dogs <laughs> and burgers. So I quit yapping and I'm going to get that steak ready to go. Get the risotto on here pretty quick. And, uh, We'll be eating. That risotto on. Hopefully you can see how it's kind of getting brown. Nice brown, golden brown color. There's a little nuttiness. We're gonna add a little brandy now. That reduce down a little bit. I'm 
And this will tie in with the steak flavor too. Take that back a little bit. Now we're just going to add water a little bit at a time. Just keep stirring it until it soaks it all up. Now we're going to add our tomatoes. Let those cook down. that in a little bit we'll season the other side once I get it on the grill grate but <clears throat> this just needs to sit and soak in well, I'm surprised I just we just got uh, some more uh, campers in the site way down from me they have some kids I'm surprised this is quite a walk Congratulations to that family for taking their kids out in this kind of camp. And I never did this kind of thing when I was a kid. Walking for a mile or so to get to my campsite. So, bravo, Dad. Bravo. Moment of truth. Big old pile of risotto. Probably more than I'm going to eat. Tomato. Tomato risotto. And a brandy and butter sauce and onions. Oh, this is going to be so good. Let's try this risotto. Wow. See how I cooked it. Yeah, nice medium rare.
I gotta say. This is probably one of, if not the best steak I've ever had. <laughs> Oh, my light just went out. <clears throat> That's all right. I'm almost done for the night. I will say good night. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the morning. Have a quick breakfast, cup of coffee, and uh, unfortunately head home. But thanks for watching. Good night <clears throat> from Bush Food Network. Good morning guys, just out here enjoying my last morning here on the lake, it's absolutely beautiful, the mist coming off the lake, it got really cold last night, I've been up for about an hour, had to get up and get a fire going, I was freezing, this time of the year it's hard to pack correctly when it's 70 during the day, but it dropped down to about 34 last night. I've got, I don't know how many layers on, but I was still pretty cold. It wasn't too bad, but I was waking up about every hour shivering. So as soon as, as soon as it was close to daylight, I got up and made a fire and got warm again. So anyway, yeah, I'm just having my coffee, having a pipe smoke, and I'm going to make some breakfast, pack up and walk on out. Oh, wow. Morning, Mr. Cardinal. Thanks for watching this video. I've had a blast out here. I'm definitely coming back to this place. And, uh, sorry, my thoughts are a little scattered. I'm a little tired. But uh, it's not, not going back to bedtime. This is Bush Food Network. Have a good day.